Right, today we're going to introduce how to produce a DIY product turn table using Turnspro and light it using Adaptlux Studio. The product here you see is Turnspro and it's primarily used for rotating time lapse. This is Adaptlux, which is a miniature lighting studio. Other things you're going to need today are a sheet of A3 paper or some other reflective white material and some cardboard. Start with Turns Pro itself. It uses four AA batteries which you can insert in the base. And the base then simply snaps back on. You press and hold the middle button and it turns on and you can set your your speed of rotation in uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Uh, if you want to quickly get it going, just press the right hand button several times and it will start rotating. And you can see the counter counts down. The top disc will then actually rotate. And that's what will be used as your base of your turntable. This is the Adapter Lux Studio, a nice instruction manual uh, with four lights. So they come in different colours, you've got uh, two white, a uh, red and a blue here. Uh, the lights themselves are all bendy material which you snap into the adapter lux itself. There are also a number of different uh, colour filters that you can um, snap onto the end, which then makes that particular colour in this example, you can snap it on and it will make it a green colour. The adapter lux itself is actually here. It's USB charged and there's a few buttons on top which allow you to change the intensity of the lighting. So you can see the USB charger at the end and it's also got a quarter inch UNC hole underneath so you can screw it straight down onto a tripod. And that's the easiest way to use this because it will give you a nice stable platform that you can then move the lights around uh, and adapt it to however, however you want it to. Yeah, we've clipped in the blue and then there's a nice bright blue light that you can then use to illuminate any of your products. So now that we've shown you how to use both the adapter locks and the turns pro, uh, now I'm going to show you how to create your product turntable. So here you just need to get some kind of cylindrical object, some kind of round object, uh, place it down on your cardboard, draw a circle around it. Uh, it's also important to understand where the middle of your object is. Uh, this helps with putting your product right in the middle uh, to get a nice even rotation later on. Uh, so you can use something like a CD um, or any other object that you've got that will give you that kind of circle but with a hole in the middle. Next step is to cut it out. Next you're going to need to cut out your piece of paper. So just draw around the cardboard template that you've just cut around. And then cut the circle out. Then glue your paper down onto your cardboard. Unscrew the black nut from the top of Turns Pro. This black nut then needs to be attached onto the cardboard. First you need to find out where the centre of the cardboard is and then stick it down. We use just a bit of sticky tape. Once it's stuck on, you can then rotate this disc back onto the top of the turns pro unit, keep spinning it until it's got down to the bottom. And you can see here, it's already rotating. Ready to go. You can mount the adapter lux itself on a ball head. This gives you the flexibility to be able to change the angle. Here we've actually just set it up out of shot on top of a tripod. Then you can bend the arms of the adapter lux to 
to suit the position of the lighting you want. And here's the result. The light shining through this product gives it a really interesting effect. You can also use the adapter locks on top of Turns Pro to move your lighting rather than moving the product. You can also try changing the turntable top itself to not just be cardboard and paper, but be slate or stone. Any of these give a really interesting effect when the light bounces off it. If you would like us to manufacture a turntable for use with Turns Pro, please let us know in the comments below.